Hitler is a nutcase. People, Cameron Steele hanging out here on the vert ramp. No, I will not skate or BMX on this thing. This is X Games 14 where the real pros take action, but this is the Slam and Stomp Show. We're gonna bring you the best, the gold medal moments, and the worst where people take facials, or in Danny Way's case, to the legs. So gnarly what these athletes put themselves through. They push, they push, they push. We'll see everything from skating to BMX, to moto, your pick, right? You're gonna have some fun here, we're gonna have fun, and the best part is, they're all gonna walk away from it. Let's get it started with Jamie Beswick, a guy who came in and just stomped it. He loves this vert ramp, the guy is magic. Jamie Beswick coming up, and all eyes are gonna be on this guy. It's the most exhilarating feeling I've ever had. I've tried so hard for so many years to get up to that win. And... Booyah! Oh, that's how you do it. I came here this year and I was I was happy. I was happy to skate. It felt good to skate. Sheckler is a nutcase. The whole thing with competing against these guys is to not lose your cool. You can't watch them skate and then get nervous and not do your tricks. Sheckler, if he continues like this, he's going to get the goal in 2000 years. Played with everyone, had a lot of fun, and, you know, just did the best I could. Can't forget. Yeah. We did it. We came home with the gold and it feels great. What'd you just say? I said you're the gold medalist, dude. You gotta <laughs> be feeling good about that. Yeah.
Welcome back to X Games 14 Slam and Stomp. Cameron Steele hanging out here at the Super Park. Check it out, the legends have been skating. Mike McGill, Tony Mag hanging out, and I say I love this thing. It is a little bit tight, and we're gonna talk about BMX slams and crashes. Mike, how crazy is it when you wad up on one of these tight transitions? Oh, it's all you can do to just uh, keep your composure because it's so tight and fast. You gotta be small like Steve Cavalera to skate this thing. But anyway, there's big guys that can skate it too, and I think this is what uh, guys right now in the States and everywhere else are skating. They're skating skate parks. They're getting tired of those handrails, and you know, let's hit some transition. This has a little bit of everything. You gotta love it, talking about Steve Cavallaro coming over here. A guy that rides moto, you know about getting tangled up in the motorcycle. We're gonna talk about BMX. How do you think it is to get tangled up in your BMX bike in some of these bowls? Very insane. I mean, what those guys do are amazing. Props, respect to all things that you guys can do in here. We're, we're working hard, but those guys are working twice hard, I think. There you have it, talking about BMX. Now, Tony Mag coming in. You gotta love what's going on here, but let's talk about the incredible, incredible skating of Danny Way. I mean, the comeback, can you believe a guy, I mean, he's not as old as you are, but he's an older guy when it comes to skateboarding. He just takes a licking and keeps on ticking. When it comes to Danny Way, age doesn't matter. I don't know if he's human, I think he's a cyborg. I think he is a cyborg. One of the best stories from X Games 14. We're gonna check out some spills from the Super Park and then catch up with the comeback of Danny Way. Ready? A, uh, gladiator. Passion and drive and willpower and all that stuff just oozes out of the guys. When, when he's skating and he's coming, it's like a whole nother reality. Everything was routine, you know, I'd done that run a couple times in practice. Backflip rocket here, he's got it. Before I knew it, I saw the coping right in front of my feet and my shins, and I was like, oh, here we go. It's like a rag doll and I feel like the Kobe and ripped my foot off. Everyone in the audience was saying, he's done, he's done. And I said, that's Danny Way. I said, he is never done. Wanting to walk off on his own power as only Danny does. And then the medics took me in, you know, in the back and started assessing my foot. And they're just like, dude, your foot is, is pretty much blown up. You know, we don't recommend you go back up there. We think you should call it a day. And I'm like, that's not my style. Are you going to be able to take your fourth and fifth run? I'm taking every run. I don't know how in the universe he could come back from that. I don't see how he can. I didn't see Danny, so I was like, oh, I guess I'm going. And then all of a sudden, I'm like, oh my god, he's coming back. He's actually going to take that run. He eats, sleeps, and bleeds skateboarding, and this is a testament to it. Come on, Danny. Make this one safe. I couldn't believe he stood up, shook everybody off. Leave me alone, I want to walk. Was killing himself, coming back, making it look like he'd hadn't even fallen. You know what I mean? Like it was ridiculous. Dude. <laughs> Let me tell you something. If ever you say that you can't do something, remember Danny Way. What Danny Way did on that ramp is an inspiration for a lot of people. There is no stopping that guy. Danny Way has the biggest presence in the house. I mean, there's no doubt about it. 
Like, I've, I've never had that much honor from people ever in my whole skate career. And, and uh, it meant the world to me. Chad's a contender no matter what he rides. Chad's one of the most amazing, naturally talented riders there is. He knows how to push himself. He knows how to control himself also. So to have those two things and be able to do both of them is, is admirable. Let me tell you something. The Staples Center is ready to rock. This guy needs no introduction. Dave Mira, 14-time X Games gold medalist. Oh, my goodness. This is what we dreamed about. It is on. Chad Kagey, definitely looking for some redemption. Can't tell him. A chair. Oh, yes. On. Here comes Mira on his last rock. Guess what, guys? There's still some miracles left in him. Oh, he yeah. He's a slugfest. Kiggy was just in first place. Now he's in second. Look how high that is. So, so clean. This is redemption for him. Your gold medal, Chad Kaggy. Can't tell you how happy I am right now. Welcome back to Slammed and Stomp, and guess what? I got you a special treat, freestyle motocross rider, Andre Villa, hanging out, and it would be Villa if you were from Spain, where you live, but he's from Norway, and he's hanging out at the X Games. How cool is it to be here? Oh, it's nice to be here. This is my first year, and I'm having a good time. You know, the, the track is awesome. It's a huge track, and I really like that, and it's, uh, yeah, it's challenging for us riders, and uh, it's gonna take a man to win this stuff. Pushing the limits. Remember his name, he's gonna be someone to reckon with in the near future, and speaking of reckoning with, when you stomp it, when you get the gold, everything went perfect. And Kyle Loza, the Electric Doom, used to be called the Electric Death when he crashed on it in San Diego. Now that he stomped at Electric Doom, how cool is it to see the innovation of freestyle happening right in front of you and being a part of it? I love to see that. I love to see Kyle stomp that thing. And um, this time he even did it over the 75, you know? So it's, a, it, it's not a flip trick, which I think is really cool. And uh, all the props to Kyle. There you have it. Andre Villa giving props to Kyle. Let's give props to everybody that stomped it here at the Moto X. Uh, check it. Kyle Loza, innovator. I think he's going to have a uh, good, good shot at gold. Well, what's going to win it? Let's take a look. Here we go.
Game over. Exit stage left. There's nothing in the rule books that says you can't take a different exit. There he goes. Bar hop. Twists over. Grabs it. Plenty of time to land it. Lands it smooth. Watch when he comes off the ramp. Boom. Gets the twist out of the way. The varial extends to Scorpion on the bike. Nice landing. I mean, he's down there, but. Look at it. Here I come, guys. something new, that's best trick. Well, getting the gold medal is what it's all about here at X Games, and nobody more familiar, it seems like, than Travis Pastrana. Let me work my way over here. Just finishing up with the gold medal in rally, and Travis, first I want to talk about coming from motocross. I mean. The gnarly world, you created a freestyle motocross, six-time gold medalist. How crazy is it when you get on the dirt bike and have to throw down huge? Oh, it's absolutely amazing how far X Games have come. I mean, you look at guys that are, you know, weren't even doing anything two years ago that have just worked so hard and come and progressed. And now I watch Best Trick and I am nervous. I was exhausted after watching Best Trick this year. You know, coming to the rally and now you see guys like Dave Mira, it's an easier transfer when you know you have the roll cage. A little more expensive way to go, but I like to thank Subaru for uh, providing all the the action sports guys with enough cars to just completely keep crashing and rolling and beating up. Super, you guys rock. You gotta love it. Okay, now we already know this is the stomp moment of the games for Travis Pastrana. He gets the gold medal in rally, but talk about where rally has come and how exciting and insane this course is for you guys. Oh, uh, this course is awesome. I just came off of, I, I had the points lead, but only on consistency. And I, I just, I like to get out there and win. And X Games is the one event that there's no championship. It's all or nothing. And, you know, we bounced off a lot of walls, full on Gran Turismo style out there. And, uh, it's just, just awesome. I mean, it was a, it was a bummer that uh, my friend Jim uh, couldn't co-drive for me when he broke his back doing the front flip, but you know, Carolyn stepped in, and you know, she was real serious at first, and then she started cutting up, making some jokes, and I tell you what, it really helped me drive to, to the best I could. And Rally has come so far, X Games. Thank you guys for, uh, for making this uh, as good of a sport as it is. Right on, let's check out some more rally action. Check this guy out, holding the goal, baby. Travis Pastrana, he knows how to do it.
And ladies and gentlemen, that is the story of the X Games right there. I don't know if you broke a sweat watching this thing, but I broke a sweat bringing it to you. Cars being hauled out on forklifts. That's how big they go at the X Games. Travis Pastrana knows better than anybody. You gotta give it your all to take home the goods, the gold medal around the neck. Well, until next time, the Winter X Games, Summer X Games, whatever it is, it's the good, it's the bad, it's slammed and stomped. I'm Cameron Steele saying see you later from Los Angeles. It was a good time hanging out with you. X Game 14 is in full effect. The Staples Center is ready to rock. Jake Brown is back in the building. There he is, the greatest of all time, Ricky Carmichael, gold medal. I don't know how in the universe he can come back from that. Are you gonna be able to take your fourth and fifth run? I'll take every run. Unbelievable. Oh my goodness. What? Oh my god! Chad Kagey. This is redemption for him.